So hey bro, I got this thing all wired up, all spaghetti right now, but just super temporary. So I got a 5 volt regulated power supply uh, providing power, 5 volt TTL for all the logic. Uh, dual 36 volt DC power supply powering the two bipolar stepper drives, which are driving the two uh, stepper motors, a NEMA 34 and a NEMA 27. And over here I've got the uh, smooth stepper board underneath and then the breakout board plugs right into the smooth stepper. Um, and then I got a little emergency, little baby emergency switch e-stop wired in because you have to have that in order for the Mach 3 software to arm the drives, which is cool. And then that's all just hooked up via the network to my PC on my computer. And I don't know how this screen is going to show up doing it this way. <laughs> I'm just sitting here holding my... Um, oh, but before I run the software, uh, let me power up the, the drives real quick. Yeah, it's got to be running before you run the software in order to see it or it'll get an error. Alright, so that's all powered up. Got my little lights back over here. I'm going to run Mach 3 loader, which is the um, machine control software. And I got a profile set up, Mach 3 mil. Asked me which device I want because I also got a printer. So it, so it loads Mach 3 and this is what it looks like. So here it's showing the, uh, asking me to reset it because it's sensing that the e-stop is engaged there, which is what you want. Uh, so if I try to reset that, it won't let me because the e-stop is there. So this is the, G the area for the G-code right up in here. And these are my X, Y, Z coordinates whenever I have three axis. And over here will show up the, uh, the tool path. And then there's you know stuff like spindle, speed rate, information about the tool, and then controlling the whole entire G-code run right in here. So it's super, super simple interface. If I could just load a practice G-code, and I've been using this little Roadrunner uh, tool path. It's a milling operation that um, creates a little Roadrunner figure. So there it loads the G-code right there. Go up here, there's all the G-code. And then over here is the little picture of what it's going to mill. So it actually traces out and shows you a simulation of the milling operation. It shows the red where it picks up and sets down and, and the blue is where it's actually milling. So, all right, so I go over here and release my e-stop by just turning this little guy, release that guy. Now I should be able to uh, find my mouse here. There we go. Reset. Bam. So now it's reset. And she's ready to rock and roll. So, just got tape on the stepper motors to show, pretend like it's really milling. So, cycle start. Bam. There's the stepper motors doing their little thing, going all which ways. And if you look up here again, you can see moving really really fast right now just to get through it and then over here you can see the coordinates all moving and the g-code just plowing away it's freaking cool as shit man so I got my virtual CNC running now I gotta just connect it all to a machine but I know what I'm doing now actually I got one more step to go it that's interfacing to the uh, CAD software which will be next I just wanted to get the machine running. So there it's all finished. Sweet! And then uh, if I were to hit the e-stop, I'm getting ready, to, I'm gonna go back to the screen. If I were to, I ran into an emergency and I hit this, actually, you know what, I'll start it running. Let me reset the, um, rewind the G-code, cycle start again. So I'm actually running. And I'm going to hit the C-stop and you'll see how it, here I go, ready, go, bam, external E-stop requested, emergency mode active, <laughs> it's freaking awesome, man, and I'll be able to do that with any kind of sensor, any kind of switch, any, just like an Arduino, anything I can hook up to this 5 volt TTL, I can turn on and turn off cooling pumps, air, uh, misting, 
freaking I can do automatic tool changers in the future with this if I want. So, all right, see ya.